Hey everybody, this is Steve, and sometimes I'm too worried about being right. I thought of this last weekend, during Halloween. You may remember the Be The Bee episode I did for Halloween last year, which didn't quite go as planned. The video itself wasn't great, but what was worse was how I handled the discussion in the comments. Lots of Orthodox Christians disagree about whether we should celebrate Halloween, and instead of offering a balanced way to approach the question, I only offered one perspective. In the video, I encouraged Orthodox Christians to feel comfortable celebrating Halloween, without really considering why it makes some people uncomfortable. At times, I even implied that it's silly not to celebrate Halloween. And after I posted the video, I didn't listen when people commented why the episode upset them. People have different perspectives on how Halloween does or does not fit in with Orthodox Christianity, and many choose not to celebrate. But instead of listening, and trying to learn about others' spiritual journeys, and why we disagreed, I argued, and tried to prove why I was right, and by extension why others were wrong. When we're too concerned with being right, we don't take the time to listen. To listen to what people have to say, to what's important to them, to what they need. So instead of having a real conversation, where we talk to each other, we start talking at each other, or even worse, we just start talking to ourselves, for ourselves. When we're too focused on being right, our attention can shift, so that it's no longer about the truth, it can become about us and our pride. A real, honest conversation can't only move in one direction. We can't talk if we're not ready to listen. And bees are really good listeners. When bees fly around, they pollinate the flowers they visit. That's what allows the fruits that we eat to grow. But a bee doesn't go to a flower to pollinate it, to give it something it thinks the flower needs. Instead, it goes to receive something from the flower, nectar. When a bee approaches a flower with humility and is ready to receive the good thing the flower has to offer, good things happen. The bee receives nectar from the flower and can then go and make honey. When we talk to people, we should have that same humility. We should be ready to listen, to receive the blessings that others have to offer us. That way, we don't see others as just opponents in a debate. We should see them for what they are, children of God, icons of Christ, people who deserve our love and respect. I try to keep this in mind as I make new episodes of Be The Bee, and I'm really sorry for all the times that I failed in the past. This isn't about me talking at you, telling you what's right. Be the Bee is a conversation. It's a community, the church. It's about how we can learn and grow together, how we can teach and support each other, how we can help each other draw closer to God. That's why Be the Bee isn't just a video. It's this video and your comments and the conversation we have. We're all pilgrims making our way through life. And as hard as that is, it's even harder when we push others away and go it alone. If we're too worried about being right, we'll miss out on all the wonderful things we can learn from each other. All we have to do is listen. So let's be the bee and love each other enough to listen to each other. Be the bee and live orthodoxy. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next week.